In Unreal Engine, every level has its own level blueprint. And you can access that by clicking on here and going to Open Level Blueprint. And the level blueprint is a specialized type of blueprint that has access to all of the actors in the level and can call functions or events on those actors. The question is though, how do we get access to this level blueprint from another actor like our player character or from a widget? And the reason why we might want to do that is to take advantage of some of the features we get with using the level blueprint. So for instance, if I click on any actor like this prison cell here, open my level blueprint, and then right click, I can create a reference to that prison cell. And then it's easy for me to call a function on it. Similarly, I could click on one actor here, maybe another actor there. And then from the outliner, just drag across to the level blueprint, drop it. And I have references to both of those actors. Again, I can call functions on them. And this can make it easy to control how your game works. For instance, in this setup, when the game starts, there is a delay, then it opens the prison door. So we start, there is a two second delay, and then the prison door is opened. But what if I wanted to control when that function was activated from my player character, when I press a particular key? In order to do that, I need access to the actual level blueprint. But if we go to our level blueprint again, and if we right click, we can get access to our player character or to our game mode or game instance, but there is no way to get access to the level blueprint with or without context sensitive on or off. We can get the level, but that gives us the actual U level, not the blueprint that we are after. So how do we get around this limitation? Well, if we go to our class settings, so we can see that our level blueprint is a class of level script actor. So we can try to take advantage of that. The level script actor is hidden, so it doesn't show up in the actual outliner, but we do know it exists. So if we go to our third person character blueprint, we know that every level will have one level blueprint and only one, and it will be of the type level script actor. So we can search for get actor of class because there will only ever be one. We know the class is level script, level script actor. So that should give us the level blueprint. However, if we wanted to call the function, and our function is open prison door, we drag off this and type open prison door, that function does not exist because the function doesn't exist on the level script actor class, but rather on this version of it, third person map. However, we cannot cast to this. So if we type in cast, third person, that does not give us an option. So we need to find a way around it. What we do know is that the third person map, the level blueprint, is an actor, and that actor can have interfaces. We click on the class setting. So we can try to take advantage of that. So if we go back to our content browser, go to blueprint, go to blueprint interface, we create a BPI level. We can open that. And then maybe we have a function called BPI play open prison door. We can then go back to our level blueprint and we can add this interface, BPI level. Then from the interfaces, we can right click or double click and say implement event. And from there, we can just call this function that we want to trigger, open prison door. So that should trigger the correct function for us. And back in our third person character, where we want to trigger that function on a key press, 
instead of automatically using delays in the level blueprint, we can say debug key E, connect that together, and then we can try to call that interface function. So BPI play open prison door. And that should get a reference to the level blueprint and use the interface call to trigger that function call. And then we can just disconnect this and see if it works. So now when we play, we can walk around, but it doesn't trigger automatically. And then when I press E, it triggers the level sequence and opens the prison door. You might be wondering if you can actually change the class of your level blueprint. Because we know it's a parent class level script actor. So if we go back to our content browser, right click, go to blueprint class and type in level script actor, we can actually create one. So LSA test. And it's a fully functional level script actor blueprint. However, if we try to set it, we see that it doesn't actually show up. LSA test is not an option. However, you can create your own class using C++. So for instance, in my C++, I've created in my level script actor, which is a child of level script actor. And then in my level blueprint, that my level script actor does actually show up. And that means that in C++, you can create your own functions for your own level script actor and have different ones for each level. And then you can cast to that particular class in different blueprints. There is a way of setting it on a project wide level by changing, I think, the default game.ini file, config file. But in terms of blueprints, simply by taking advantage of the parent class, level script actor, getting a reference to it and using interfaces, we can then call functions on our level blueprint and take advantage of the fact that it is a specialized blueprint with level wide access to all of the actors in the scene. So I hope this helps.